Hello everyone, this is Dharmendra, Senior Security Engineer at FaveCert. Today I'll show you how we can decrypt SSL traffic on Big IP using an iRoll. On SSL profile, uh, there is an option to enable or disable the cache. In this particular video, I'll cover how we can decrypt the SSL traffic if the cache is enabled. And the other scenario I'll cover in a different video. So without wasting time, let's go to the GUI of the box I had and then we'll see how we can do that. Okay, so I assume that you already have a virtual server, okay, which is configured as a SSL offload. So the profile which I have used here is the default one, which is client SSL. Okay, let's verify if um, if the caching is enabled or disabled. Okay, so to find out, you need to change the configuration setting from basic to advanced. And then if you scroll down, you will find a option called cache size. If the value is zero, it means cache is disabled. If there is some value, it means it's enabled. Okay, so the next thing which we need is an IRO. Okay, so the IRL I'm gonna use is also available on my.fa.com um, and the key article for that is K12783074. You'll find um, more information there on that article. So let's create that IRL and give the name as demo1. Okay, so here you need to change one thing. You need to add the IP address for which you would like to decrypt the traffic and add it here. So what this I will do, uh, whenever there is a client SSL handshake, it will check for this particular IP address. If that's there, it will lock the client, um, client port as well as the RSA session ID and master key and the log file. Okay, so let's quickly apply this I will go to the virtual server, resources, on manage and like this I will okay so it's done so now let's uh, go to the CLI and then I uh, will initiate some traffic and capture it okay so this is my big IP and this is my client machine so let's run the packet capture on um, big IP first Okay, so I'm gonna capture the traffic for the virtual server IP address on port over three. Let's start this. And then we'll, we'll initiate some, some traffic for the virtual server so that we can capture it. Okay, we have some traffic now, so let's stop this and as I mentioned the information will be logged in the var log LTM file so let's check if we have that information so the idle name was demo one so I'm just grabbing information for that okay so we have that information now we need to move that information to a BMS file okay so for that I'm going to use a set command which is also available in the same key article you need to paste it as is Okay, so the session ID will be there in this file. So let's check this file. Okay, we have that. Now we'll see if we can decrypt the traffic using this um, PMS file. Okay, so let's <coughs> run T sharp and see. Okay, so we can see the traffic for 10.123.98.100. Okay. It means we are able to decrypt the traffic. Now, if I just remove this PMS file, let's see if what else we can see. Okay, so <clears throat> there is no decrypted traffic for the virtual server here. Okay, and the PMS file I have applied here, you can check. You also can <clears throat> pass on the PMS file using this command. Okay, so this is the information which I wanted to share in this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.